Good evening. Tonight's story takes us deep inside the Kremlin, where secrets whisper through the halls of power. We're talking about Vladimir Putin, the enigmatic leader of Russia. But even the most carefully constructed facades can crumble. Recently, a crack has appeared, revealing a glimpse into Putin's private life. At the heart of this story is Alina Kabeva, a former Olympic gymnast. Rumours of a relationship between Putin and Kabeva have swirled for years. Whispers are persistent, fueled by alleged secret families and luxurious lifestyles. The whispers grew louder with reports of two sons born to Kabeva. Details are scarce, shrouded in secrecy, painting a life hidden from the world. Imagine, if you will, a life of unimaginable privilege. Private jets, sprawling estates, a staff catering to your every whim. This is the world reportedly inhabited by Putin's sons, a gilded cage where luxury knows no bounds. Their home, according to reports, is a palatial estate near Moscow, a fortress designed to keep the outside world at bay. Tutors provide an elite education tailored to the needs of these young princes. Nannies attend to their every need, ensuring their days are filled with comfort and ease. And always present, a phalanx of security guards, their presence a constant reminder of the invisible threat that lurks beyond the manicured lawns. But within this gilded cage, a certain emptiness persists. For Ivan and Vladimir Jr., life is a carefully orchestrated performance, their every move dictated by protocol and precaution. They are shielded from the outside world, their interactions limited to a select few. Their childhood is a series of carefully curated experiences, a far cry from the carefree days of most children. For most children, the world is a playground, a place to explore, to learn, to make mistakes. But for Putin's sons, the world outside their gilded cage is a distant and unknown entity. Their lives are governed by strict security measures, their movements carefully monitored. Contact with outsiders is tightly controlled, limited to a trusted inner circle. Their education, while undoubtedly top-notch, takes place within the confines of their secluded world. They have tutors, yes, but lack the camaraderie of classmates, the shared experiences that shape a child's social development. Their understanding of the world is filtered through the lens of their privileged upbringing, a world far removed from the realities of ordinary Russians. This isolation, while understandable given their father's position, raises questions about their emotional development, their ability to relate to others, to understand the complexities of the world beyond their sheltered existence. They are, in essence, trapped in a gilded cage of their father's making. Their lives are stark contrast to the freedom enjoyed by most children. Vladimir Putin, the man who holds Russia in his iron grip, is an enigma. He projects an image of strength, of unwavering authority. But behind that steely facade lies a man who reportedly harbors a deep affection for his sons, a love that manifests itself in extravagant gestures and heartfelt, albeit infrequent, interactions. Putin, bound by the demands of his position, is said to be a distant figure in their lives, a father who loves from afar. He showers them with gifts, ensures they have the best of everything, but his presence in their daily lives is limited. Their interactions are reportedly sporadic, fleeting moments of normalcy in a life otherwise defined by extraordinary circumstances. This distance, while born out of necessity, undoubtedly takes a toll. The boys, starved for their father's attention, must grapple with his absence, his love a distant beacon in their carefully controlled world. Putin, in turn, 
must reconcile his love for his sons with the demands of his position, a delicate balancing act that highlights the personal sacrifices demanded by power. Section 5. Unmasking the Truth Enter the Dossier Centre, an investigative group known for its fearless pursuit of truth, its willingness to shine a light on the darkest corners of Russia's elite. Founded by Mikhail Khodorkovsky, a former oligarch turned Putin critic, the center has become a thorn in the side of the Kremlin, exposing corruption and unraveling the carefully crafted narratives of those in power. Their investigation into Putin's alleged secret family is a testament to their tenacity, their commitment to uncovering the truth, no matter the cost. Through painstaking research, interviews with sources close to the family, and analysis of open source data, they have pieced together a compelling, albeit circumstantial, case. Their findings, while vehemently denied by the Kremlin, have sent shockwaves through Russia, challenging the carefully cultivated image of Putin as a private man, a devoted public servant. The revelations have sparked debate, fueled speculation, and exposed the lengths to which those in power will go to protect their secrets. Section 6. A Chorus of Denials The Kremlin's response to the Dossier Center's allegations has been swift and predictable. A categorical denial. A chorus of voices dismissing the report as yellow journalism and disinformation. Putin himself, a master of deflecting personal inquiries, has remained characteristically silent, his silence speaking volumes in a country where dissent is often met with swift and brutal retribution. State-controlled media, their narratives carefully controlled by the Kremlin, have echoed these denials, painting the report as a Western-backed attempt to discredit Putin, to undermine his authority. They point to the lack of concrete evidence, the reliance on anonymous sources as proof of a smear campaign orchestrated by Putin's enemies. But the denials, however forceful, have done little to quell the whispers, to silence the doubts that linger in the minds of many Russians. The Kremlin's insistence on secrecy, their refusal to address the allegations directly, only serves to fuel further speculation, to cast a shadow of doubt over the official narrative. Section 7. The Olympian and the Tsar. Alina Kabaeva, the woman at the center of this storm, is a fascinating figure in her own right. An Olympic gold medalist, a former member of parliament, she is a symbol of Russian beauty and athleticism. Her relationship with Putin, if true, is a tale as old as time the powerful leader captivated by the beauty and grace of a younger woman. Kabaeva has, for the most part, remained silent on the allegations, her public appearances carefully orchestrated, her pronouncements guarded. Her silence, in a country where media is tightly controlled, speaks volumes. It is the silence of someone who knows the rules of the game, who understands the price of defiance in Putin's Russia. Her relationship with Putin, shrouded in secrecy and fueled by rumor, has captivated the Russian public. It is a story of power, of whispered trysts, of a life lived in the shadows. And like all good stories, it is a story that continues to unfold, its ending yet to be written. Section 8. The heir apparent. The future of Putin's alleged sons is a subject of much speculation. Will they follow in their father's footsteps, groomed for leadership roles? Or will they forge their own paths, marked by their father's legacy? Their upbringing, shrouded in secrecy and privilege, provides little insight. They are, for now, blank slates upon which the world can project its hopes and fears. 
Only time will tell what the future holds for Ivan and Vladimir Jr. Their lives will be forever intertwined with the legacy of their father, Vladimir Putin.